Fuck okay, that, I guess I'll just start recording. I'm going to get another drink, and I'm just going to explain this new camera I just did in 10 minutes. Um, so it's kind of like Jesse's bird's eye view. Um, it, oh, I still got more to drink in there. But, it's also similar to the game that you were playing. Uh, I don't know, that little demo game that you were playing with the way the character was able to run in circles, but the camera did its own dealy, whatever the hell it was doing. Uh, this is the idea that I got from it. Um, granted, I know that we that you said... If we can make it first person, let's make it first person because of the way that the attacks are made. Which is basically a projectile goes towards the player, but in the third person's over the shoulder, it's kind of hard to see that to reflect it. I think I found the way to fix the problem. So, what did I do? I will show you right now. Okay, back at the desk. So, let's stop... Uh, sharing the boring screen and go to the game screen okay so this is the quotes bird's eye view um note that the camera is going to be trolled controlled by the rb lb button on the xbox remote um the analog stick is going to be it's actually ro rotating the character um and moving the character Where is the play? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I can rotate the player. Even though the camera looks close, um, that's because there is a wall literally behind me right here. Okay? The little eye thing on the cube is the front of the player. I just did that for reference to find out where the front of the player was. So, anyways. So, basically... You can run around a little choppy because I, I did the character control really quick. Um, so you can go behind objects. Um, if the player goes behind objects, obviously, it still tries to find the player. Um, now, if projectiles were to come at the player, you would actually see them come and then do your own thing. Now, with the RBLB buttons on the Xbox remote. You can simply just rotate the camera. Um, if you were to rotate into a wall, it would just simply just zoom on the player. Um, I don't know if this is something that you want to go with. Um, I mean, you will see the projectiles coming and be able to deflect them. Like if you wanted to go to the side view, just, just like a... Not really like a side profile of the character, but, you know, just like a diagonal bird's eye view and see the projectiles coming and you can reflect them. Um, essentially, that's how it works. Uh, but I think this is the your best bet on the character controls uh, because you can manipulate the camera better and... Stick with your uh, projectile defense strategy that you had before. Um, now, the way I did this is I'll show you the scripts. Let me just stop the game. Let's see. Share. Oh, my God. It's only sharing such a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. Properties. I think it's screen number two. Whatever. I think it's that. Yeah, it is this one. Okay, so what we have here, this is uh, my move. It's supposed to say camera. I was typing fast. Move camera towards player. Essentially, it's not exactly what it does. Um, well, well, I'll show you in the inspector. Uh, da, 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 I think that would be number zero. Let's move this out of the way. So... What this does, um, why is this over here? Oh, I forgot to click OK. There we go. 
So what, what this, this does, does, why is it so zoomed in? Oh my God, I hate this thing so much. Okay, let's minimize this. Uh, it's so tiny. There we go. So, so basically I have this, it's the camera pivot point. Now the camera pivot point is basically the character's location. It's the player's location based on a certain point on the player. Now, could I have put in this on the player? I could have, but the thing is, when I would rotate the player, I would rotate the camera. That's why I could. That's why this had to be its own object. Um, but on the player, I still have the original player movement script. But on the camera, I have also move camera towards player script, which is essentially. I don't really need this bool anymore. I don't know why that's even on there. It's even in the script. That's not even in the script anymore. Why is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So, using bird's eye view view script is gone. Uh, I was trying to test something out. Um, also, with this his, hit distance... Do I need that? I do. Okay, so the hit distance is essentially how far it stays away from the player when it starts zooming in. So I have it set at 0.19. I, before, I had it set at 0.9, which was way too far, and you were still seeing the wall if the player was a little bit further. Um, I don't want to... Don't want to test that out because I have it at the perfect fucking number. I don't want to change it. So 0.19 is the perfect number for that flow. Anyways, back to this. So this is the bird's eye view camera controls. Okay, it's really simple. Essentially, you name the uh, name the name of player in the hierarchy. Just type it in. It's it's as simple as that. Now, why does it say camera follow speed, which I'm going to change that right now. Camera follow speed. Um, what is this? Go away. What is this? Oh, oh. Okay, go away now. Okay, so camera follow speed. That goes like way up there. Um, rotation speed is the, obviously the sensitivity between the LBRB buttons, which I have not connected yet. So don't even try testing it if I give this file to you. So what I do is when I set up my scripts, Uh, I hate going back and forth to this crap. I think it's one. No, it's two. Okay, so let's go to okay. That is so tiny. I apologize for last time I showed you the screen. Oh, my God. Um, it's still very tiny in my opinion. But what I have here is, let's see. This right here is essentially just following the player. So... The camera, quote, pivot point, that is following... It's actually following the player, so it's not rotating with the player or anything. It's just following the player's location. Um, I essentially just have the camera set up at a pivot... Uh, set up at an aerial view and is a child object to the camera pivot point. Um, obviously, uh, the rotation speed is obviously the controls to do the... Rotation speed. It's self-explanatory. Uh, the camera follow speed is basically how fast the camera follows the player. Um, I could make it slow, but then you would have to wait for the camera, obviously. Uh, and... Oh, do, do I have to do crap or can I do manual? No, I don't want to do manual. Window? No. Any window? No. None. Okay, that's just retarded. I don't even know why this... I, I hate this fucking thing. 
Let's not look at that. Okay, so. Why is it so big again? This is like the most difficult video I've ever done. And you're probably laughing at me right now. Okay, so what we have here. Let's move this. Oh, come on. Down here. Move it up. There we go. So. So this plan story name of the player is basically the name of the hierarchy that what you name the player. If it's a player, fuck, just put player. I had to put player queue because I have multiple players in this game. Uh, let's see. So let's look at the camera. It's the same script I used on the other camera, which just goes through the wall and does all that. This, this, this is the only thing that's different to follow camera speed and all that. This is for the bird's eye view only. Um, but I will show you it again, even though this video is taking way too long to do. Um, let's move this. Let's move this. Okay. Okay. Um, come on. All right. I will show you this again. So... Obviously, you have the front of the player. The only reason why it zooms is because there is a wall in front of me. Um, rotate the camera. That's the wall that was in front of me. The thing is, with the bird's eye view, you can't look up or down. So if you're trying to climb, which uh, I guess I can manipulate to actually look up and down. Um, I guess, it, it, I don't know, maybe it just, I could do that. Actually, I do that. I'll do that in my next video. I'm not doing it now because I'm really fucking tired. So I'm going to go in here, zoomed in on me. Um, I mean, I can rotate the camera just in case I don't like to zoom. Now, if there's enemies following me, you know, I can look behind the player. Um, let's go on this other side of the wall, which is going to block out the camera and zoom in on the character. Um, the further I get away from the wall, it zooms back out. Um, I go through here, it's going to zoom on the character really close, really close. Um, but I think this, in my opinion, I don't know if it's up. I don't know if you like it. I don't know if Jesse likes it. I don't know if Jesse's opinion really matters. It's your game anyways. Um, but defending yourself against enemies, I would highly suggest using a camera system kind of like this. So... I'm just babbling on and walking into space. Um, I mean, you could just rotate the camera and... But, yeah, this is... It's it's all about positioning the camera and trying to de defend yourself against enemies. Like I said, like, say that... Uh, say this pillar right here was an enemy, right? And you were trying to defend yourself... Now, if it was a straight-on view, like an over-the-shoulder view, obviously, it's kind of hard to tell perspective. But if you rotate the camera just a little bit, you can defend against the projectiles. Okay, just imagine a project, like one of your projectiles coming out of this pillar, going towards the character at this angle. You can deflect it and then just rotate the camera back. So I think this is your best camera bet that is it that's done for this video I'm gonna go to sleep but before I go to sleep 